everyone this is Jay Singh from Technic Solutions welcome to my YouTube channel and uh, today we're gonna extend Active Directory schema part of our SCCM current branch video series so in this uh, video you need SCCM setup files so if you have not downloaded these files I have given a link in the description click on the link so that you can download all these required files and if you would like to know all the software requirements for SCCM current branch Click on the top right hand corner and uh, there's another video I have made previously so you can follow that video and you can download all the required software for SCCM current branch uh, full guide series so where you can set up your own lab. The first question you will ask why we actually extend Act Active Directory schema. So SCCM actually it gathers all the information about users and computers. So that SCCM can do that, it needs actually privilege, delegate access to read and write back to Active Directory. So we are going to create a system container and then we will provide delegate access to SCCM computer object so it can read all the required information from the Active Directory. So in my case, our domain controller is technex-dc01 and um, I have logged into it. So before that, if you like, you can create a checkpoint as well. So I have created a checkpoint just in case if something goes wrong and if I have to go back. So I have created a checkpoint. So I'm, I've logged into technex-dc01. So open your server manager. In the server manager, click on tools. And then after that, click on ADSI edit. So it will open a new window for us. So right click on ADSI edit and click on connect to. By default, it will pick the domain controller. So click on OK. So it will connect to your domain controller, extend the tree and extend your actual domain. So in here we have system. We will right click on system and uh, we will create a new object and uh, we will name this object. Um, we will have to pick container. Click next and uh, the value will be system management. Okay. So system management is the value, click next and finish. So we have to refresh that, uh, right click and refresh it and extend it and we under you will see under RAS it will come up. So I will refresh it again. Here we have system management. Okay, once you do that, so click on tools and then uh, we open Active Directory users and computers. And in here, we will go to view, uh, advanced features, extend your domain, and in your domain, extend system, and in system, we will have system management here. So at the moment, there's nothing here. So in this step, we are actually giving um, delegate control to computer object. So right click, click on delegate control, then click next and uh, add. So we are going to add a computer object so click on object types by default computer object uh, is uh, unchecked so we'll check that and click OK and uh, type here your um, SCCM server so in my case it's technex-sc01 so click check names so it's came up click next so here I will create a custom task to delegate click next this folder and by default is check this folder existing objects in this folder click next uh, I will take everything and click full control and then next and finish okay now so we have given full control to the computer object of our SCCM server so once this is done so now in this step you need SCCM setup files so I have already downloaded these files and I have access to those files from my actually server you can copy over all these files to your desktop of your domain controller and then you can run the required file from there. So I'll double click on this. So other thing I would like to mention when you download those SCCM setup files by default they are compressed so you have to unzip them and uh, you have to extract them. So open that folder and then go to SMS setup and then in here we have bin x64. The file the one we would like to run is extend ext extend ad sch extend active directory schema so click on file here open with the uh, powershell as administrator all we have to do is 
just run that file that's all so if you type ext and then hit tab you'll see this file ext tadsch.exe okay so just hit enter and it's going to extend the schema here we are so it says successfully extended the active directory schema and uh, there will be a log file for this let's have a look at the log file so open file explorer go to this pc and uh, in local disk c you will see extend adsch text document if you double click on that and it will say at the bottom say successfully extended schema so this log file will only let you know that uh, this has successfully extended the schema but uh, if you would like to learn more in detail so what you do is go back to your uh, SCCM setup files and in SCCM setup files open um, SMS setup and then again go to bin x64 and in this one uh, there's a file named config manager ad schema ldf okay so if you right click and open with and I will open it with notepad and uh, from here from here you will get the full detail what it does in the background okay so it has all the information in it so in your own time you can read about it so give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it is informative for you and also subscribe to my channel to show your support see you in the next video and in the next video we will be installing other prerequisites for SCCM server and um, thanks for watching see you next time